So this is just a really quick demo on how to set up the Gantt chart component in your SharePoint site. So I'm on the uh, home page here of, of my site. I've got to go into the cog at the top and then click on site contents. Then go to new and then app. And you have to click this link, find more apps in the SharePoint store. So here I'm going to search for, search for Gantt chart. And you get a few different Gantt charts. This one, modern Gantt chart, is obviously the best. Um, so click on request and you can send this request. Click send request. Now that will go to your system administrator, your SharePoint administrator. They will have to then approve that. So you might want to follow up with your administrator and just ask them to get that approved. Um, if you are the administrator, then you'll get an option here, a form here that gives you the uh, option to install it straight away. So once your administrator approves that, it will be uh, then available to add to a page. So the next step that you have to do once that's approved and installed is go into pages and then create a new page. Just call it our Gantt chart and click this little plus icon. Um, it's at the top of the list here for me, but you might want to search for it. If you've just installed it, it'll be at the bottom somewhere. Select modern Gantt chart. And then the, the rest of the process is relatively easy. So we're going to select create a new SharePoint list. There's another option here for if you already have a task list, you can reuse that. But let's create a new one create some sample tasks. We'll give it a name. And that has now created your Gantt chart. So this is essentially ready to go. You can publish your page. There's a lot of customization that you can do here. So you can really set this up to look and feel whatever way you want. For example, these columns here, we've got the column, the user column of who the task is assigned to. Um, and we've also got the status. Now these are configurable. And to do that, you go down to data grid and click edit columns. And you can, you can set up those columns the way you want. You can also configure these filters at the top. So we've got a filter for resources. We can choose the uh, assigned to user and it will only show tasks assigned to that user. But if you've got any other fields that you want to appear as a drop down here, you can go to filtering and then resources, uh, end user filterable fields and select fields other than resources. So let's choose task type as an example. And we can filter and only display tasks or projects. Um, so there's a lot of other configuration options here on, on the left, on the right hand side. Um, if you want to go into the actual SharePoint list that stores the data, because all of this data is stored in your SharePoint, uh, you can open the list here and you can connect this to Power Automate or whatever other systems you might have. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, um, you can leave a comment below. I'm also going to add some links uh, to everything that I've showed uh, below.